imagine you're seeing somebody fall into a big blender of ground oh. beef or different kinds of meat. Just imagine what we you guys do. I'll cry. Scream. Okay, so. Grab a hamburger um, bun. In the 1990s. <laughs> in the 1990s, uh, the slaughterhouses um, had a lot of incidents about like men falling into blenders. Like, completely. Oh. And, they got, oh. and they got blended with the ground beef, so. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> there was also a lot of incidents such as like. Like men had their fingers cut off <coughs> and blended inside, so there was a lot of different things, and there was a lot of diseases because of this. And um, so, if you guys are interested in slaughterhouses, um, there's this book called Chihuahuas, so you guys should read it. Mm -hmm. um, so, the meat interest, the meat interest industry, um, started different um, kinds of incidents that happened that like men fell inside um, and it caused a lot of diseases <coughs> and they always wondered like what was it. Um, so slaughter um, houses like, they built, were built like around the 1800s. Um, although there was a lot of farms that people <coughs> cut like the meat and sold it themselves, the actual factory started around the 1800s. So um, <coughs> although we might not always know exactly how the animals are processed because they keep it so mysteriously and they never really let us or they never let scientists like scoop around to find out. Um, many of the meat companies do not like to reveal this, but I will inform you guys about some kinds of process they take and the working habits and um, how it's also related to the kind of related information. So I will, start, I will talk about the workers and the slaughterhouses and the process of the cows and the chicken. So, it's, so 45 to 50% so of the animal is meat, and then 15 of it is waste, like the bone. Um, 40 to 45% of the animal is turned into leather, soaps, and candle webs. Cows. Um, 150.4 million cattle is sheep, goats, and cows or bulls. So. That's kind of mean. And then 8.9 is chicken, turkey, and that's, so that's annual. So, yeah. So I'm going to talk about the process that it takes for slaughterhouses to chop down the cow. So, it about 5,700 5, slaughterhouses are all over um, the all over the United States, and over 60,000 <coughs> workers, which are, half of these workers are immigrants and many different par from different parts of the world, and mostly from Central America and also South America. Um, working here is a possibility to them because they are immigrating from other countries, and also um, they uh, have very little insurance and stuff, so, Many of them don't have a lot of backup. So um, my uncle actually worked in a slaughterhouse in Nebraska, and he got hit by a cow in the head. So he survived, but he's like not working anymore because of this incident that happened. So he's really, like his head got messed up, dislocated and everything. Um, the women that work here in these places, they get sexually harassed, and they really can't say anything. They don't have voice. Um, they get paid minimal. Um, so the workers here report a lot of incidents and injuries, but they never get paid attention. So the process of the cattle is um, they're pretty much raised in a farm. Some of them, some of them are raised in factories, um, and then they're taken to um, hands where they're kept together. And some of them are so squished that they eventually die suffocated. So. Um, after that, the cow is taken to uh, to the factory, or if it already is in the factory, it's kept there, and it's um, in the, um, they charge it with 300 volts, so they're killed right away on the head. Um, so since they're already killed, they're not really killed because they've been electrically charged, so some of them are alive, like it happened to my uncle, so he got kicked by the head. 
And um, after the head is removed and the skin is taken <coughs> off with a knife, so this requires a lot of work. And it's killed by this vein right here, so it's kind of instantly killed. It's the human body, by the way. It's just showing the vein. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to talk about the process, the chicken. Um, so the chicken, when it's um, unhatched, they usually get two chickens. Um, well, they don't get two chickens, but they grab two out of the ones that the mother or the chicken lays, and they eventually take it to a farm <coughs> where they um, put um, many little different chickens. So there's like a lot there, and they don't see daylight. And so after they um, they grow out in a lot of um, it's in a very crowded area <coughs> where there's over like 300 chickens, 30,000 30, chickens, my bad. <laughs> and then they're hung from their legs alive, so um, the process is uh, very cruel because they're still alive and they break their feet eventually from trying to release themselves. And um, they're also electrically charged to death in water, so they're suffocated and drowned. Um, in conclusion, these animals are used to eat, so you guys eventually eat them. Um, and also, I kind of give you guys a little bit of information of how it's done, even though there's deeper into it. And if you guys ever kind of want to read the books, um, there's these kind of books, and there's also the one that I mentioned earlier, so thank you.